Neon Trash, all you suffer punks and retro nerds. Time of the Hammer here, hanging out with Matt Hayes, Adam McNooglees, and Johnny Rocket. Guess whose pick it is on this fabled night? Who? That's right. Who? Johnny ah, R. Yes. And what have you brought, Johnny R? We are going to go back into time and watch Batman begin. All right. Yeah. This is what the first of the Christian Bale Batmans. This came. This is the first after the hiatus from those early, those first handful of Batman movies. Two, 2003 -ish. So yeah, I mean that that went almost a decade there without one. You guys know this routine. Check out that motherfucking trailer. Beat, Beat that, that shit. And we'll Beat that, that shit. You guys are gonna see our opinion on Batman, Batman Begins. Beat that shit. To travel the world. Now you must journey inwards. What you really fear is inside you. There is no turning back. Your parents' death was not your fault. The claiming is nothing. The will is everything. If you make yourself more than just a man, if you devote yourself to an ideal, you become something else entirely. Are you ready to begin? Fantastic, emotional, genuinely gripping, says the back cover of Batman Begins. That it is. And I have to agree. This was <laughs> this was pretty gosh darn good. I wish I had given it a fair shake back in the day, but I'm glad I decided to watch it now and uh, yeah, dude, Christian Bale was a great Batman, and Liam Neeson is an amazing foil. Like, this was really good. I mean, I like Christopher Nolan's direction with this. I thought it looked fantastic. We had a great soundtrack. Like, you had just about everything you needed for a great film here, and it did the source material justice. You know, the original Batman series started off strong with, like, the Tim Burton series with Michael Keaton, but then, you know, you got the Joel Schumacher years, and it just kind of, yeah. <laughs> Kind of got degraded, and it's just like people are like, "Yeah, I think this franchise is toast." But then a couple years later, they decided to bring it back, and you know, people, some people were skeptical. But um, I tell you, the skepticism was destroyed once they actually saw this movie. And of course, the Dark Knight, which was amazing, would follow. So um, yeah, this is. Um, I mean, they knew they had to bring it. Yeah. You know, they really had to do it and do it right. So I appreciate. Yeah. I appreciate the fact they really went. You know, deeper into the source material because in Batman '89 we got like such you know, we got like a five minute backstory. Yeah. You know, because at that point everybody knew yeah. the backstory, so they didn't want to cover it. They wanted to go into the whole you know Batman versus Joker thing, which is fine. Yeah. It was great. When we look at the difference in directors, you've got Tim Burton with those films, and you got Christopher Nolan. Tim Burton's films definitely took a little bit of a tip of the cap, a little nod from the Adam West Batman. I mean, when we watch those movies, those Tim Burton films, they're a little bit campy and rightfully so, and that's what makes them really good. This Christopher Nolan angle um, respects that because there's definitely like um, nods to Tim Burton's Batman films, but it goes a little bit further because um, you know some of us here, we, we grew up reading the Batman comic books uh, back in the day, especially like the darker 1980s ones, and that's what this movie takes an inspiration from, is those old, dark, weird, <laughs> Uh, Batman comics from back in the day where there would be like insane situations in Gotham. I mean, it, it goes so far and this, that's what this movie does. Like, you you transverse decades with this character. You know, you, you see him as a little boy, you see him as a young man. Got to mention that, you know, the Batman animated series was actually a fucking kick-ass cartoon oh, yeah. when we were like, you know, younger yes. and growing up. Yeah, sure I mean, was that awesome. was like, it was dark in its own way. Yeah. And it talked, and it even delved into the whole Ra's al Ghul. It even de you know delved into like the you know twisted, crazy, I mean, dark things. But then at the same time, lightning, you know, I mean, enlightened things, mm -hmm. and made it nice and pleasurable to watch for that 20 minutes that was on. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> moving right along. For some so yeah, so like you know, the, with the Michael Keaton and Tim Burton, you know, Batman, that was awesome. You know, it was the dark part of it. You know, it was nice. The old Adam West was the Technicolor, that was the bang, pow, poof, you know, of the, <laughs> of the comics. Bang, pow, poof. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then, like, but then, like, when you said, what, Joel Schumacher took over, you know, Batman Forever and, ba you know, Batman and Robin, yeah. that was like, okay, yeah. everything's, you know, it just 
the floor fell out, and then this one was like, hey, we're opening the fucking door and throwing some fucking TNT and explaining the backstory and making it fucking awesome. Oh, yeah. 10 out of 10. Um, so I would be inclined to also give it a 10 out of a 10, but I've got to <laughs> uh, weigh a certain uh, elements here or there because, um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about the bigger picture here. I'm thinking about... You know, the old comic books, you know, Detective Comics, I'm thinking about Adam West's Batman, I'm thinking about Batman 89, I'm thinking about the video games, the cartoon series, every single thing uh, that is Batman, and this is a fantastic start. Like, I mean, uh, in terms of reintroducing Batman to the modern day contemporary audience member, I'm going to say a straight up 10. Nice. <laughs> Holy cow. I'm sorry, I had, to, I had to split hairs there for a minute. Yeah, yeah. No, that's all right. I mean, it's, it's great to analyze this movie because it deserves a lot of analysis. And, um, you know, unfortunately there's been a lot of cultural snobbery lately about superhero movies. And granted, the market is saturated with them. And uh, as it's in its own right, I mean, this is just a fantastic Batman movie, one of the best ever. So uh, I'm gonna give it a solid eight bat stars. Whoa! Eight bat stars. Wow, 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 wow. That's one of the ways I can tell a movie is really fucking good is when like I'm not even thinking about a star count during it. Like in most movies, uh, towards the end of it, I'm starting to think about okay, what am I gonna give this? Like I, I was I was paying attention to the movie instead. Like I wasn't thinking about anything else. I was just watching this. Mm -hmm. And you know, for as much skepticism as I had going in, like it was completely blown away and I will fully admit man it's I don't know if I can quite go to 10 out of 10 but I will certainly give this 9 out of 10 stars because it was pretty fucking good I was very much entertained I mean they, they, they did the Batman you know I mean it's I mean we were gonna call it Batman Begins like you better go back you know to the beginning and like show him make that shit you know and, 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 and they really did like, I, I mean like, he's completely... a little boy yeah, at yeah, some like, points I, during I, this movie I, I think yeah no I completely uh, agree with like every direction they took in this we're all Batman fans we're all guys we all grew up with the superhero thing and like I don't know I'm positively percolating after watching this again this movie came out like you guys said like 17, Close 18 years ago. Yeah, well, it's like, two decades now. Watching like, it again though just made me like, oh, I want to like don the, the outfit and start yeah, like, fucking hand and yeah. asses. Like, yeah, <laughs> you know? Swinging through the city streets da, 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 and punching people in the face. Yeah, you know? <laughs>